Good morning. <laughs> um, it is like 6.45. <sighs> I don't remember my alarm clock going off. So I'm... There are two things. It may have gone off and I didn't hear it. It's up through it because my alarm clock is a uh, nature sound one. My husband leaves the fan on really high and loud. So there have been mornings where I just don't hear it. And I know that's dangerous. Um, uh, the other option is I heard it, got up, shut it off, and went back to bed because it's the weekend and I know I don't have to be up. Because <laughs> I've done that too without realizing, you know, without remembering I did it. So. And I do remember, because my husband went to work this morning, and I do remember him coming in. <sighs> that was pretty. Um, kissing me goodbye and um, telling me I did a good job on my tank girl bikini top. <laughs> so, anyway, there's no real point to all of that. Um, but... I do have that photo shoot later this evening, afternoon. It's at like f 4 o'clock. And the photographer will be there at 3 o'clock to start setting up. The place is an hour away. So I should leave at 2 if I am good. <laughs> It'd be good to leave by two to give myself extra time, and so I'm there like prior to it actually starting. Yeah. Um, I have to figure out what I want to do with my hair. Because uh, Tank Girl has really short, short hair, and obviously I'm not going to go and shave my head for this. Um, so I'm going to do some kind of messy something or other, I believe. So like I said, she is crazy. And, um, I haven't gotten to see the movie. It's not on Netflix, but there's one, like, I've watched a bunch of, uh, clips on YouTube from it. And there's one scene where she's got, like, really short shaved hair, but what little hair she did have... It was all like braided and like crazy, so I might throw some weird braids and little ones here and there, cause then it's a tank girl slash roller derby shoot. So I'm, but he made a uh, the photographer made a uh, cover for roller derby helmet to make it look like a tank girl helmet. So I'll have a helmet on. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I forget where I was going at that, it's really early. Uh, really early, so I sh if this was tomorrow, I'd be in my car driving to work right now. Yeah, I need to make sure I go to bed good time tonight. Anyway, I need to make some coffee and breakfast. And hopefully I don't overeat today. So that would be terrible for a photo shoot. And uh, I see I've been talking to the camera for four minutes now. So I told myself this cup was big enough for two cups of coffee, but uh, I guess technically I wasn't wrong. Well, here's my oatmeal. Um, that's banana and then that's peanut butter. I bought some... Uh, natural creamy peanut butter yesterday, and it's like really creamy. You can just kind of spread it like a, like a syrup. So actually, it works out really well. So I have been working on my tank girl outfit, and I think I have one to wear. Obviously, I think I'm gonna bring extra stuff to the shoot just in case. Um, obviously, I haven't showered yet, uh, and I do want to get a quick workout in. I have to put away some laundry and finish, like, 
to iron and stuff. Um, oh, and I just got hungry again. Um, anyway. So this is the bottom half of my outfit. Um, this is an old, old, old purse of mine that I realized if I put it, like, tighten the strap as much as I could, that I could fit it around my waist, and it would stay there, stay there like a, like a little side fanny pack. And so it kind of, it goes with the theme of Tank Girl. And then she had, like, all these neck, necky things, uh, around her belt loops, I guess. Um, and this one is perfect because she has, like, some Australian flag patches and things, um, and the stuff she wears, and there's kangaroos in the comic book and movie, and, um, this was just another knick-knacky thing I was able to loop around. And then here, she seemed to always wear, like, two different socks, and they typically had the, like, stripes like that, um... Then I put these on because there is a scene or an image or whatever where, well, something she's wearing has this pattern. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and then my Doc Martens, but uh, we'll probably be wearing our skates anyway because it's like a tank girl slash roller derby shoot. So, but I figure it's still released today anyway, just in case. I need to show you what I picked out for earrings. So I have this like red screw, and then this is actually two earrings that I shoved in one hole. Um, Cause there's a scene where she's wearing like uh, some double dice earrings on one side. And then on this side, again, two earrings in one hole, but safety pins. And then uh, it's a skull and crossbone, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do my makeup too. So I have showered, but I decided to shower with my hair up as part of how I'm going to do my hair. Because I figured getting it all wet and everything, because I wasn't gonna wash it, wasn't going to be beneficial. So I left it up like this. Um, so I mean, I didn't like completely avoid getting it wet. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to start my makeup. <sighs> um, yeah, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sip on water or smoothie. I just decisions, you know. So I just put glue stick on my eyebrows, cause that's a normal thing people do. Um, I'm going to attempt to black out my eyebrows so I can then draw them in pencil thin like tank girls. I hope it works. I've done it before. I mean, I just hope it doesn't look... S I hope I successfully do it again. I've done it before. I did it for, um, two reasons. The first time was on my cousin who was dressing up as Betty Boop as a favor to me and I did her makeup and it looked good and then I saw it in pictures where it was like really obvious bad foundation where it's like you could totally see like the eyebrow outline it was noticeable in pictures that something wasn't right and then the other time was Halloween for me where I was the Bride of Frankenstein so um, yeah anyway I'm hoping it works well in these, uh, you know, these are going to be like really good photos, so I'm hoping I don't make myself look stupid or ruin the pictures. Yeah. I just put another layer on and, well, that was too much. I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm not so sure this is, uh, working out in my favor. I know yellow lighting is terrible. Um... And I realized part of why it worked well when I did the Bride of Frankenstein is because I didn't have to block out the whole eyebrow just like from here over, which from here over is very thin anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to fall through with this or not. 
nice idea, but not if it doesn't work out. I feel like my eyebrows, they must have gotten darker or something, because I feel like it's more difficult to um, block them out. So this is what I have so far. I need to add eyeliner um, and a light, light coat of um, mascara. Then I need to reference the picture again about cheeks. So I'm going to do something to them. I don't know. Lips will be last. I might even do my lips when I get there. Uh, yeah. Got to do the hair. So I am on my way to the photo shoots. Uh, it's really hot outside. I didn't quite know that when, <laughs> until I walked out the door. Um, I figured it was warm and realized how, how warm. But, um... Yeah, it's going to take me about an hour to get there, so, and I'm not sure how much recording I'll actually do there, especially because the photographer asked, like, don't release any images until he releases his, which I totally understand, so, um, yeah, and I'm not very open about my vlogging, you obviously know that if you're, if you're watching this, um, I, I could be if I had more subscribers on this channel, but to get more subscribers on this channel, I, I need to be able to make more interesting vlogs, so, um, anyway, I'm going to keep driving. So the photo shoot is done and now a bunch of us are going to some taco place, so I am following a lot of cars directions going off in my ear um, so someplace called Tio's Tacos so I'm told it's good so I am finally home um, I'm a hot mess now which kind of was before but um, this was the shirt that uh, one of the girls who was helping out with the shoot made so it was so nice of her um, so you can kind of see what I wore um, anyway, I'm really excited for these pictures, and when they come out, I can share them with you, but obviously they're not out yet. So, anyway, my battery's gonna die, so thank you for watching, please subscribe, comment below, any relevant information will be down there, of course, and good night.